What's happening guys? Sat Sikha Dosto, I'm Jussie Sidhu and this is the life and rhymes of Jussie Sidhu for the next hour. Yeah, and a whole hour of me, I'm sorry. For the next hour, you're going to hear everything from when I started, from the B21 days to the solo days to right now. So sit back, enjoy, chala kap lelo, roti khalo, whatever you want to do. This is the life and rhymes with Jussie Sidhu. Okay guys, well, where did this all start? You know, a lot of artists come on here and say, I'm a fan of this artist, I'm a fan of this artist. Honestly, you know, when I was about 12, 13, I suddenly got into music, you know. Um, the UK Pangra scene was massive back then. The likes of Arniki, Achanak, you know, the new age of bands alongside Hira, um, Alap, Malkit Singh was still going then, Strong, he just started out, he was just amazing at the time. You know, Jazzy Paji had just started with London Opatola. And for me, it was like, wow, what is this? This is like Punjabi music and it's so cool. And uh, I'd go to weddings with my family, you know, the likes of Night In, Hen and Chickens. I was at Birmingham Halls for those that don't understand. And I'd see these people on stage and I'd be like in awe. I'd be like, this is so cool. So, you know, when I was at school around 13, 14, I got into a school band called uh, Tamaka Boys. Yeah, that's copyrighted, by the way. It's such a cool name. No one else can use it. And there was about eight of us and we started doing, you know, assemblies. And we actually went to other schools and performed. And uh, it was very cool. It got me into this whole Pangra scene. And for me, that's when my eyes opened to wanting to do this for a career. And I'd be the guy at every family wedding. And I'm sorry if I've ruined your wedding or if you go home and the wedding film, there's me singing at some point. I'd jump on stage with every band that was playing. You know, I got to sing with the likes of Arniki, with Malkith Paji. You know, I got to sing with Jazzy Paji at St. Teresa's up here. And uh, for me, that's such a huge buzz. It just gave me that excitement to want to do this. And um, I am influenced by a lot of Achanak songs. But if I start singing them now, they're going to sound a bit silly. So. I'll, go on then, I'll sing you a Chanak song. This is one of my favourites. This is Har Ganga, one of the first songs I ever sang on stage. Everybody who knows me, they used to call me Har Ganga when I was a kid. It goes, Oh the yaad sitave, oh the yaad sitave, oh the yaad sitave, Har Ganga, Har Ganga ve, Har Ganga. Okay, now, around 16 years old, I'd left school. I'm very young, I've got GCSEs, I was doing my A-levels. And my parents kind of said to me, look, if you want to do this, just do it. Don't just keep waffling on and annoying people at weddings and jumping on stage. So, okay. So, I got myself a job. Here's some truth now. I used to sweep the floors at parcel line. Whew. I used to sweep the floors at parcel line. I did that to save money to start my first project. Around the same time, you know, my master used to live one door away from us and uh, Bali and Buddha Jagpal. They used to be there and we, our, all our families knew each other and you know, I met Bali and Bali goes, what are you doing now? And I went, I want to do a project and he goes, oh, so do I. And that's actually how B21 started. So me and Bali went into a studio with a guy called Kid and we recorded, sorry if I'm laughing, I just remember the first song we recorded. Uh, the first song we recorded from the side of B21. I wrote it, yeah, all mine. It's called Hasdi <sighs> Natadi. I suppose I better sing this. This is a terrible song. The lyrics actually went, let me remember. Hasidi hasidi jado nachidi nachidi mera dil ka dil ya billo rani e Jado vi tu mere wal chori chori dekhe Tere akh de shar minu lute lende How bad is that song? Okay, so that was the first song me and Bali recorded. Luckily, we got Mr. Jagpal Bhuta in to help us with the album and that's when the sound of B21 Actually, when you beat you not time, that's when the first album came together. You had the likes of Bot Sadarande, the Ranjit Mani song that we covered. You had Mahi Ve Mahi, which was a song I loved from when I saw Malkit Baji do it at a wedding. Um, it's just an awesome song and we wanted to cover it. There was Bolian there, there was Juguni. It's just a mix of songs. Oh, and I wrote another one called Akladagay. Terrible. Have a listen to the album. So that was the first album we put together and um, we kind of made this album at Planet Studios and it was the kind of greatest experience in my life. I remember the buzz of going to studio with Buta or going with Bali and it was just this amazing buzz of creating an album, you know, three young guys doing this. And um, that's when we got introduced to Movie Box and Bali went and spoke to him and they gave us the first chance. And that's how B21 was created. For all the youngsters out there who have no clue what all this is about, I think you can get it on iTunes now. So it's called The Sound of B21 and the title song was Potsadarande, which was Ranjit Muniz. So, um, that's very India. Ki 
चिट्टे चादर जमीना गहने पुत सरदारांचुअली मैं मिस्टर संधु रिथ दैट सॉन्ग अ फ्यू वीक्स गोइ इंडिया एंड यू मैन आई नेवर न्यू यू सॉन्ग दैट सॉन्ग अटल सॉन्ग शो मी द सी डी वन डे इन इंडिया आई वॉज क्वाइन बारिश बिकॉज रिप द सॉन्ग आफ दैट एसिंग इम बट हे वट यू डू दैट वॉज द फर्स्ट एवर बी ट्वीन ऑन एल्बम I don't know if we come back from a break or showing a video because there was no videos back in the day for the sign of B21 but um it was an okay album you know it wasn't breathtaking but it gave B21 their standing in the industry and which was very cool for us and um we started doing a few shows here and there and we thought we were wow we're it man so back into the studio in 97 and uh the album by public demand which really was just something that kind of took the industry by storm and I remember you know putting the album together I still to this day remember me and Bali recording Jindal Kadayashki and playing it to Booter and Booter saying you know what I'll sign a piece of paper to say this will be a huge hit man we should have gone to sign something man we made some money out of that <laughs> anyway I remember doing Putsta Daranda me and Bali running in and out the vocal booth recording and mixing at the same time it was old you know planet studios we did it all at the same time live and uh the album just blew up it was a uh, unbelievable you know the pop awards in 98 when we collected three awards and i remember our shiny trousers and our long coats and our shirts hanging out we were cool man i remember going to my exam straight after i was studying at wolverhampton university and it was just a whole blur the way it suddenly exploded that was the first time i sang chandigarh kali aashiq on that album obviously that was the first time that song came out from us and yes we took it from somebody else like i'm always told every day we take people's songs it was sung by a guy called gilhar deep in india but um bali had the song and he goes i think it'll work in the uk so we sang it and it kind of worked out brilliantly you know it was a it was just a huge hit across the world um from that album one of my favorite tracks i'll always remember it because we had those moves you remember watching tv on saturday mornings and we came on doing all that kind of cool it was a uh, oh screen dil lutaya and the irony is a few weeks ago at a wedding someone asked me to sing it and i couldn't remember the words so now i'm going to try and remember the words for you it went उस कुरी ने दिल लुटिया दिल लुटिया दिल दार दी जवानी बिच पट सुटिया गबरू पुत सरदार इट वॉज अ वेरी कूल सॉन्ग इट वॉज अ वेरी वेरी कूल सॉन्ग वेरी डिफरेंट यू एड अम्पल ऑफ रेड रेट इन दू नो दल है दिन रात यू नो गैरेज एट द टाइम वॉज ह्यूज एम यू जस्ट लाइक ड्यू दिस होल न्यू सैंड एंड इट्स वेरी हार्ड फॉर मी टू एक्सप्लेन टू यू गाइज व affect the album had on our lives because it took us from being three guys from Hansworth to this huge boy band <laughs> boy band i know i'm old now but it's funny then a boy band that just took over the world we got to travel africa you know singapore malaysia america canada just three normal guys from Hansworth and um there was really good times you know that was for us the pinnacle of everything i think you know it was a great time so B21 we were riding high around the world and uh yeah we had love problems as any band does you don't go from being nobody to being that famous that quickly without issues at the same time you know on top of that fame Bali was releasing his solo stuff which was even bigger and it was just becoming uh, this kind of huge snowball effect that we couldn't control it was absolutely amazing being part of it and performing everywhere you name it we were performing there and uh I say performing I'd say my mix was CD as most people like to call it we were the guys that made these PAs so first of all let me apologize yeah we started PAs it was our fault but on the other side of that we were quite good at them not like some people that are really bad at the moment we were good at doing PAs so uh yeah hand up my fault thanks anyway while all this is going on we decided Buta went to shoot a recorded solo album uh he had a solo album he wanted to do and he had a song on there called Darshan and he started work on it and uh, I was in the studio with him one day and I went, you know what I'd love to sing the song I think it really work so that was it I sang the song and that's Darshan as you don't know it now it was that easy the song just came together i remember performing the scratch of it which is a very rough version that I show in london me be from bali and we just played the stayantra and the crowd went ballistic and we went okay this is going to be really big and uh, made in england came out in 99 i think yeah 99 made in england came out the ep do you remember it just a black cover four songs four songs remix of mahi kudiyan punjabiyan darshan and i have no clue what the fourth song was i think it was an instrumental <laughs> an instrumental it was massive the single was massive that even led to us having this film uh, the song in bend it like beckham which was just 
unbelievable to be part of that film. Of course, the song from that EP that you all remember. Darshan. I think that still is part of my set to this day and it still goes down exactly like it went down in 99. The song is an anthem and you know what? It was just something that we look back on and say, wow, we made that song so quickly and it just became so huge. It was a great time and unfortunately now people, this is where B21 kind of began to fall apart, but I'll talk about that after. So where were we? Right, Made in England, massive album, Bended Like Beckham, unbelievable. Back in the studio we went. And we started work on our, because uh, that was an EP, we wanted to do an album. So we started work on an album and, uh, you know, we met up with Madhan Jalandri, who wrote Chandigarh Kadiyashki. He came to England and he wanted to meet us guys and he said, uh, you know, your song was um, huge in India. You know, even though you didn't ask me, <laughs> Even though he didn't ask me, here's some new songs. So that was really nice of him. And uh, up to this day, I have a great relationship with Mother Uncle. And um, we, went, we took a song off him. We took two songs off him, Dil Deke and um, Giovanni. Giovanni, my God, the everything but the girl sample. Bali just blew it out the box again. And we started performing that in clubs and gigs and it became an anthem before it was ever released. You know, people were just getting 20 second snippets of it and looping it. And uh, it was huge, Giovanni was. And also on the album was John. Why am I speaking? I should sing this, shouldn't I? Do you remember it? Yeah, good song. So that was on there. Giovanni was on there. And Dil Deke was on there. And there was a mix of Kuriya Punjab. We were getting somewhere with the songs. Unfortunately, happens in life we were trying to have our own little problems in the band you know and uh, around 2001 end of 2001 uh, I decided it's time for me to leave you know things weren't working out whatever reason it was so New Year's Day 2002 I decided to leave the band yeah all you middle-aged women with your kids now stop crying it's gone it's happened it's moved on but it was a real sad day, I remember leaving. I had no clue, I just knew I wanted to leave and try something different. And I left and uh, I remember leaving and thinking, what have I just done? And I remember my mum and dad saying to me, what have you just done? You've left the biggest band in the world. For what? You have no plan. And I went, I'll come up with something, you watch. Um, but I didn't. I spent a year doing nothing, but I'm gonna go into that. So anyway, the last album ever released by B21 was Long Overdue. And that was all them songs you just heard. Uh, Giovanni, you know, Dil Deke, John. Giovanni. Now, that was Long Overdue in England. What happened was, B21 had a deal agreed in India with Tips at the time. So we had to kind of, because of Movebox, had to fulfill the deal. So what happened was, I had to go to India and do the video. Now, huge video shot by Colossus. I've never been to India before. I've spent two weeks out there. I'm going crazy. Colossus. Gulshan Grover and me. Now, if you watch that video, and I'm sure Brit Asia are gonna ruin me now by playing it again, I am huge. I swear to God, I filled that screen up. That was my, don't know what I'm doing with my life, drinking a lot in the afternoons and just eating a lot of kebabs. I am huge, it's just embarrassing watching it. But the song was an anthem. And the song was Giovanni, the video, <laughs> hey, watching it, um, oh god, I know you're gonna play it, so you might as well play it, this is Giovanni, the last track I did with B21. Have you all stopped crying over the breakup, you know, it happens in life. It's called the I couples break up, so it was a band, it was bound to break up at some point. Anyway, where are we now? Yeah, big fat B21's video. Uh, right, now where we are. 2002, I've left B21, and uh, I just want to go on record for saying, from all the stuff everyone's heard, all the stories about why I broke up, for everything else that goes with it, you know what, genuinely, Booty Jagpal and Bali Jagpal are brilliant producers. Whatever happened between us happened. We've all got a lot older and a lot wiser. I wish them both the best. Beach are not coming back this year. I'll be waiting for the album. I think I'll be the number one fan. Um, whatever happened, 
to water under the bridge, I wish them all the best in their careers. See, I've grown as a person. Anyway, 2002. <sighs> what are we doing? Right, so you got me, afternoon drinking, going crazy, mum and dad hating me. That sums up 2002, I think. I decided to do a solo album. Luckily, my record label Movebox decided to keep me on. <laughs> Suckers. They kept me on. They said, right, Jesse, we're going to support you. You want to do an album, you got our backing. And uh, to this day, I can't thank them guys enough for taking a chance on me. Because I was just a fat guy in the back of B21. No one really knew me. I was just a guy that stood at the back. But they saw something, God knows what, along with my manager, Mac. And they said, right, we'll take you on as an artist, which was kind of very cool for me. So the first album, I thought, OK, I can do this. I decided to produce it myself. Reality check. More than just a postcode. I was young and bitter at the time, so I just keep saying things. Came out in 2003. It took me a year and a bit to record. I went mental. I questioned everything about myself. It was so hard. Uh, I'm producing yourself. You know, I was producing at Planet. I weren't getting the sound I wanted. Then I moved to my new studio alongside my long-term engineer, Suki Chand, who has become as much of Jesse City as I am. And that's where the Just City kind of sound started. On the album, you had tracks like Agalon Yari. And again, I did this last week already. I couldn't remember the words. I really can't remember the words of that song now, but it was a big track at the time. Jarge Giovanni Sonier with Mets and Tricks. Garage was huge at the time. You know, and to work with them guys, uh, it's a great vibe, a great track. Um, Ranja, Jat Hogya Ishkwe Jogi. That was the first video track. You know, I went to Bombay again. That's me on a jet set now. I was flying to Bombay every year to do videos. I shot it with Sumit Dutt, who became, you know, my favorite director for such a long time. Sumit is uh, one of the best directors, I believe, in uh, Bombay. Now he's actually in films. He's done a lot of the videos to Bodyguard, the film with Salman Khan. So he's done really well. And um, Ishkwit Jogi, which was the Indian name, sorry. Ranja, the first track. Jat ho gaya ishq vich jogi ho gaya ishq vich jogi lagda hai roop rab da ranja kanna vich mundra poa ke goa ch heer fir labda I was kind of big that song was man I remember at the time it was my solo stamp on the world that I am back this is my sound and uh, the album became huge you know um, with the guitar and the oh yeah, Jesse Sidhu and I'm, yeah, you remember that? I still get ripped for it now, but yeah, big album. Um, and I was like, wow, this is easy. I went from boy band to going insane to now releasing a solo album that's become a hit, which was kind of cool. Oh, it had other songs on there. I've totally forgot about the songs on the album. Amani Amajana Makane, written by the late, the great Dev Rajasal Uncle. You know, Uncle used to always have one song for me that would just knock it out of the park and uh, Armani Yama was just huge, it just blew up in India for me. This is at the time when I suddenly realised what India was. Um, Armani Yama came out I think just after Ranja. Ranja did well in India, Ishka Jogi. When Armani Yama came out it kind of blew up and I was like wow India really likes me. Shocked, you know I never thought about India before. And um, the track went Amani ama chan makhne roj tere sufne ch ama sufne ch ama tenu gal nal lama tenu india di sair karama roj tere sufne ch ama that was amani ama and that was a song that really made me in india after that after the same album we followed up with virji virji vion chalya ah that was the first song i ever recorded in studio as a solo artist good memories but I'll talk about that later because we re-released it last year in a film. So I'll talk about that later. But Reality Check was really unbelievable. The love that I got around the world. And uh, looking back on it now, I really underestimated the power the album had on my career in India. But I'll talk about that after that. So um, uh, don't go anywhere. Better level. I'm still here for another, well, I don't know. Jesse Sidhu, Life and Rhymes. Keep it locked. Jesse Sidhu, Life and Rhymes. You're hearing about my career. From the starting, to the middle, to last year, to now, whatever. I'm covering as much as I can, as honestly as I can. You know, I'm an honest 26 year old, honestly. <laughs> okay, I'm older than that, but you get my point. Right, reality check. Okay, so we've gone India, the album's blown up, I picked up a PTC award. Suddenly, people know me in India. Suddenly, I can sit with Gurdas Man Uncle, and he knows who I am. And I'm like, what? Yeah. I could sit with all these big artists and they know who I am. I was in shock. This doesn't happen normally. 
So, you know, um, the label at the time in India, Nupur, they go, just see, you know, the album's been huge here, we want to hear some of your old stuff, you know, what was it? So, show them Chandigarh, they go, oh, this song was big here. Pirated, of course, in India, but yeah, and he went, can you do a remix of that? I went, yeah, sure, no problem. And uh, I remixed it. And uh, I remixed that, I did Din Raat, and I did Dior Davia. Because we wanted to give them something different with the album. And uh, we released the album, uh, actually, we didn't give it to Nupur. Sneaky, ain't we? We went to Speed Records. Uh, this was Speed Records' first ever release at the time. And uh, I shot the video again with Sumit Dutt. And uh, the video, even to this day, is brilliant. Ashiki, white jacket, on a skyscraper. What do you want, man? What a video. The song became even bigger than the first time around. And um, I was thinking, this is too easy, man. I just release songs and they work everywhere around the world. Jandigar Kaliashki, to this day, is the song that I'm known for. I think on my funeral, they'll be playing it as I leave. It's just one of them songs that's going to be stuck with me forever. And it's a blessing, if nothing else. And um, right now, we're in talks to put it in a kind of film project. So you're probably going to hear another weird version of it again sometime soon. But hey, you got to just keep milking it. Why not? The song. As you all know, Kite Marina Jave, Kujikake, 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 Chandigare Karea Shiki, Chandigare Karea Shiki, Munda Jetanda Jelandro, Yake. Wow, even when I sing it, sometimes I think that song is just in my brain. It's just, I'm so lucky to have that song with me. Ashki was huge again, another PTC award, and this was like, wow, this is easy, man. Uh uh, it was all about to come unstuck. No strings attached. 2006. I went back into the studio 2005 to start recording my second solo album. And, uh, you yeah, know, I thought I was all there. Yeah, man. Two hit albums. And what? Um, the album, to be honest, I thought was pretty strong. I still, to this day, there are songs on there that I still perform all the time. They all kind of click with different audiences around the world. is huge in Africa. I know that sounds really silly, huge in Africa, but there's a huge market in Africa. And Rahe Rai Janwaliye, I've just given it to them, it's their song. They just love that song. Tappe was massive in India. Put Jatada for me was, uh, we're gonna go into my like, little, my world now. I grew up listening to boy bands. I'm a huge Backstreet Boys fan. Yeah, I said it. What? NSYNC. I grew up with all these bands. That's how I learned to sing. You know, like, you, all you hardcore guys watching, I'm going, this is DC man, you just, yeah, it's because I grew up listening to English music. Uh, there's a video by NSYNC called It's Gonna Be Me, when they're all little characters running around in a shop after a girl. I thought, I'd love to do that video. And ha, huh, lucky me, I have a great record label. And they go, Jesse, you can do it. So with Sumit again, we shot with Jatada when I'm this little, it's a brilliant video. I don't care. If you don't like the song, ignore the song, watch the video. The song starts off. Gora mukhera dekh ke tera yeah. Oh, look, it's that thing that you always think I do. Gora mukhera dekh ke dera, gora mukhera dekh ke tera, ni dhande hao ke par da fira, put jat da galabi full varga me tere yute mar da fira. Written by Devra Jassal. I loved the video. It was just unbelievable having that video. If the album didn't work, oh well, it happens. The song and the video made me happy. The album... It was, for me, basically second album syndrome. I explain to every new artist I speak to nowadays, all these newcomers I, that come to me for advice, I don't know why, I say to them, your first album, always the easiest one, there's no expectations. Your second album, the public have a way of flipping on you, man. And it happened. The album did not work as well as, it worked, but not as well as Ashki or Reality Check. <sighs> I was in trouble, man. I thought it was gonna work like everything else had, but hey, I put my hands up. I should have thought a bit more out of the box. I like the album. I loved Honky on there, recorded a ballad with a full orchestra in Bombay. I got to do on that album stuff I wanted to do. And great, now I know that doesn't work, I won't do that again in a hurry. But No Strings Attached, 2006, Rahe Rai Jaan Waliye. Thora thora na karate thori thori sang Amb jo sunduri ji mein mukhre da rang Rang le gya chura ke dil mera O Rahe Rahe Jaan Waliye Rahe Rahe Jaan Waliye Sanu Das Jat Kaana Kithi Tera You know, you're sitting at home and hearing all these songs. You must be thinking, God, that's a long time to be singing. 
It is, you know. That's just 2006 shit. That was no strings attached. Do you like the name? I, I can't take pride in the names of my solo albums. Uh, reality check, no strings attached. It's okay. I'm transgressing. I need to go to the real point. That was that album. It was. Uh, I'm sure some people have got their songs they like on there. I still perform songs off the album. It wasn't an abysmal failure, but it wasn't living up to reality check. I want to be honest. I ain't gonna lie to you and say, "Hey, gonna be a hit. See, belkul hit. See." Nah, it was okay. Some great songs, but some great videos. I love the videos on that. Right, running short of time, and I'm forgetting things. It's my old age. Before No Strings Attached happened, I was lucky enough to be involved in a project. Patani Kad Jinda Mukjaniya, a song with Shin, with Taz Stereo Nation, with Sukhveer, and luckily myself. It was an absolute honor to be involved in this song. We did it for the tsunami disaster. Um, you know, to be involved in the song with my peers and, you know, be able to sing alongside them was something that I'm very grateful for. The song was so touching. You know, it was my mum's favourite song. If you get a chance, go onto iTunes or contact Movie Box, you have to listen to that song. Amazing lyrics by Happy Baines. Um, to sing alongside them guys was just something else. You know, it was an experience I'll never forget. Now, coming on, what do we do after that? See, we're running short of time, so I've got to keep kind of fast forwarding. So 2006 was No Strings Attached. I stopped miming then, I got my live band, started performing with my live band, got my sanity rack because I love playing with my live band, saved my life, them guys are brilliant. Playing with a live band really shows an artist and uh, that's why I went live and stopped doing PAs in the UK and uh, thank God I did because I love performing with the band. Right, moving on, 2008, The New Adventures of Jussie Sidhu, what a brilliant name, yeah I know. I can't boast about something. It's the names of the albums are good at least. Um, this had the track Geek Annie on there with Mr. Malkeet Singh, an absolute bona fide legend. How I got to sing a song with him? Genuinely, there's no long story. I just asked him. I go, buddy, you know what? It'd be good if two Sardars did a song together. And he went, done, let's do it. Um, you know, personally, I'm a huge believer that Punjab is Sardar Palate. Punjab uh, uh, England To be born and raised in the UK, to uh, have my dastar, to be proud to be a sardar, you know, it's something very dear to me. And I always say to all the young sardars, I say, you know, be proud of who you are. And for two sardars, like Mulkeet Singh and Jussi to be on a song, for me, it was a huge deal. For the song to become big in India, for around the world, it kind of showed off that you didn't have to have a cap on or you didn't have to have, you know, baliyan or whatever, you know, certain style of dari or, you know, certain kundal in your hair or whatever. You didn't need all that. Just to be two sardars singing Punjabi music, it was still kind of cool. Geek Annie for me was just a, a track that I remember recording with Keith uh, Paji in studio and uh, I remember telling him off and uh, saying, Paji, no, no, I turned the uh, talk back off and I looked at Suki Chan, my engineer, and I went, I just kind of told off Malkeet Singh and he went, you're an idiot. <laughs> there you go. But hey, it was a dream to work with Malkeet Paji. The video was shot with, again, Sumit Dutt. Uh, do you remember? One girl, we're both chasing the one girl, two girl. Two. Great video, very expensive video. I spent a lot of money on videos. Thanks, Movebox. And, um, Geek Annie, I forgot, I have to sing in the show as well. Uh, I'll do this a couple of lines. Tere nana ko aare ki kehne, tere husn nazare ki kehne, ki kehne tere haan se ni, tere haan se khand pata se ni, tere nana ko aare ki kehne. Sounds better than me and Paji sing it together, but you get the idea. Also on the album was a uh, Coca, produced by Mr. Aman Heya. Uh, amazing song. Worst video ever. Worst. I'm sure they're going to play that as well. Terrible video. There's no logic to it, but the song was brilliant. Aman smashed the production out of it. And also on the album was Sony Lagdi, done by Rishi Rich. Uh, Rishi and me, we've kind of grown up together. He's like family, so... Luckily, all the producers I work with, I know them on a personal level, so they don't mind me moaning and groaning at them and annoying them and phoning them at two in the morning and saying, hey, I've got an idea for a song. Well, they usually just cut me off, but you know what I mean. Anyway, Sony uh, Lagadi Koka, you know, all the songs everyone loved and um, it kind of got me back on track after No Strings Attached. And uh, it was a big album in 2008. And uh, I love Sony Lagadi, love the video. 
ਸੋਹਣੀ ਲੱਗਦੀ ਵੈਂਟ ਸੋਹਣੀਆਂ ਸਹੇਲੀਆਂ ਚ ਸੋਹਣੀ ਤੁਰੀ ਜਾਵੇ ਜਾਣੇ ਉੱਡਦੇ ਹਵਾ ਚ ਉਹਦੇ ਬਾਲ ਉਹਦੇ ਨਖਰੇ ਕਾਰੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਲੱਗਦੇ ਪਿਆਰੇ ਉਹ ਤੋਂ ਚਰੇ ਆ ਜਵਾਨੀ ਵਾਲਾ ਸਾਲ ਉਹ ਸੋਹਣੀ ਤੋਂ ਵੀ ਸੋਹਣੀ ਲੱਗਦੀ ਉਹਦੀ ਬੁੱਲੀਆਂ ਦਾ ਰੰਗ ਸੁਹਾ ਲਾਲ ਟਾਈਮ ਸ਼ੋਰਟ ਥੇ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਟੋਕ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਬਟ ਆਈ ਨੇਵਰ ਹੈਵ ਇਨਫ ਟਾਈਮ ਓਕੇ ਵਾਟ ਈਅਰ ਵਾਸ ਇਟ ਲਾਸਟ ਈਅਰ 2011 ਮਾਈ ਲਾਸਟ solo album my last ever solo album i'm not doing no more albums guys i'm done with it all but i'll fill you in at the end with all that singing between the lines see another cool name singing between the lines right my last ever album on there you had the likes of rishi rich aman haya pamasarai pbn honey sing you know this album was my goodbye i tried to go for something that everyone would enjoy a track that someone would like would be on that album it went from nadisa with the huge video you know uh shot by uh my mind's gone blank samir khanna shot by samir khanna the video was so expensive and in a day and age where people now don't spend money again move box and uh my label in india vanjali records said okay jesse we'll let you official last ever album go spend what you want on the video so uh nadisa for me was a it was just a film type video it was shot in naba where they shot yamla pagla dawana see i know a bit of bollywood now kind of cool yamla pagla dawana was shot there and um the video was uh very cool to do there were so many extras so many dances it started off with the eh lakha cho pashane jande dil darya dil daran de nahi ri sa punjabi ho tusi yaar ho yaaran de and then it went into this massive video and um that was the first single off the album we did i think nine videos to this album because it was my last one and because of my record labels both let me do this they kind of helped me do nine videos on the album you had nada kia with rishi you had the monster jan mangadi with honey honey i've known honey since god knows when we have the same manager in india and i've just watched him grow as an artist and you know we finally as my last album well, let's do something together and uh, the track you know paake kajla te akha matka ke ag mundiyan de sine vich la ke gore mukhre te sone mukhre te chun nikal rang di hai ni jaan mang di hai ni jaan mang di that was the last album singing between the lines thank you all for actually buying it that was an album that showed me what itunes was and what this kind of new whole social media world is i'm old and i'm i fold there was a lot taken at once so that was that Then last year we did uh, the film Speedy Sings where I got to kind of be involved in a huge kind of Hollywood Bollywood project like the likes of you know Russell Peters, Rob Lowe, Akshay Kumar, Drake and uh, I don't care for running late I got a story to tell you we're in Toronto at the premiere and they've closed down the main road in Toronto called Dundas Young Street and there's a procession being led by yours truly singing Veer Ji Vyan Chalya and behind me Drake is in a rickshaw Drake is in a rickshaw and he goes great tune dude and I said it's a wedding song what you want of me I don't know what to say to him it's a wedding song the song Veer Ji Vyan Chalya was redone for this film and uh, I don't know how many people have married after this song mera bhi hunda nahi lokan de biya karda reh gaya main sera mathe utte ban ban chaudmi da chan bajiyan de naal paaji leke challa jana aa jada le mel khushiyan manai hai te Veer Ji Vyan Chalya वीर जी वे आन चले आज रल मिल शगन मनाइए सो यू गो दैट वाज वीर जी फ्रॉम स्पीडी सिंग्स चलो फिर दोस्तों दैट्स इट लाइफ एंड राइम्स विद जसी सिडू दैट्स द लास्ट 17 इयर्स ऑफ माय लाइफ कैन यू बिलीव आई एम स्टिल ओनली 25 आई एम शॉक्ड एज़ वेल 17 इयर्स आई एम वेरी ब्लेस्ड यू नो टू हैव अ करियर दैट लॉन्ग इज अनबिलीवेबल आई वुड जस्ट लाइक टू थैंक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल माय कोलैब मूवी बॉक्स who have supported me from day one I've been with them 17 years they've got no choice now I don't think um all the producers I've worked with you know thank you for putting up with all the rubbish I do all the time and thank you all and uh above all yourselves thank you for supporting me thank you for hating on me if you're hating on me whatever you're doing thank you for it you know what you make a, a guy from Hansworth very happy um it's a pleasure doing this I'm doing a few more years I'm retiring at 20 years so three more years I'll be calling it a day upon the music uh I can't believe how blessed I've been to do this job and uh, I thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Thank you to Asia for having me today and for me annoying all the staff that work here today. This was just his city the life and rhymes. Peace.